Okay, so I'm doing an unboxing of this Lit Joy crate. Very excited. Um, very cool box. It got beat up a little bit um, in shipping, but that's okay. I don't plan on keeping the box. So this is the box for, um, I think they call it box 7.2. It's So it's for the last Harry Potter box. And here we go. Oh, I, gotta figure, I have, the only thing I have done is I cut the tape so that I can get into the box. And here we go. Oh, it's a good size box, so I'm excited. Um, let's see, is this the cheat sheet? I can't tell if this is the cheat, cheat sheet. Usually there's a, a cheat sheet that tells you, I think this is, but it's very cool. It looks like the Daily Prophet. How cool is that? Um, ta-da! So very cool, and it's a nice thick cardstock. So awesome. All right. And guys, the little the little squiggly worms are purple and white and silver and I'm going to try not to make a mess. So, okay, here we go. A little black velvet bag. Let me make room on my TV tray here. Woo! To try and get my box. Oh, what does it say? Oh, there's some thunder. Together they make one master of death. And it's like wooden. It's like a wooden box. Oh, cool. It's a... Oh, it's... It's a pin. And it is like the Deathly Hallows. So here's the Elder Wand. And the... Resurrection Stone. And then... Oh, the Cloak of Invisibility. I was, I was having to rack my brain. And so it kind of looks like a cloak there. Oh, that's really pretty. How fabulous. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it's a magnetic box. Check it out. <laughs> Fun. And it comes in this beautiful black velvet bag. Oh, fabulous. Already off to a good start. Looks like a candle. Fiend fire, blazing fire, peppery citrus, and dark magic. It also kind of looks like a potion. So this may be something that I put on my, like with my potion collection that I've started in my kitchen. Um, it smells really good. It's definitely a scent I would actually burn in my kitchen. Um, so fantastic. And it's kind of gradient. Um, some lighter colors, darker colors. Nice. Let's move some squiggly worms. Here's this box. It says Lit Joy Crate Magical Edition. Got that on the top. The um, uh, Helga Hufflepuff's the cup, the Hufflepuff cup. Oh, so I wonder. Beware the goblins of Gringotts. I'm reading the side here. Cast many spells to protect the items found in their vaults. This mug may multiply if handled and can get quite hot. Dishwasher and microwave safe. safe. This Lit Joy exclusive mug was designed by Anastasia Lavru. So, all right. Oh, so it's like a camping mug. I bought one of these off of somebody. Oh, but this one's um, like ceramic. Oh, it's actually really pretty. Um, so it is like the buildings and everything surrounding green got green gods. Oh, that's really nice. And again, it's, it's like, oh, and it's got, um, the cup in there. Very nice. I like it. You know me, like I got to put things back. I know that I should just set it off to the side and get through this, but... This is going to be a long video. I hope it sends to you guys okay. Um, until the very end. Tiny little box. Until the very end. I, I'm going to save that to last. I don't know why, but something's telling me to save that to the last. Okay. Ooh, 
Oh, this is going to be Ravenclaw because, um, well, number one, the color, but then at the back, if you have to ask, you will never know. If you know, you need only ask. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's nice. So it's a like a handheld mirror, but it's got the diadem, the raven diadem on it. Oh my gosh. And I'm getting old. I have to take my glasses. It does say wit beyond measure, man's greatest treasure. Man's, it's supposed to say greatest, right? Wit beyond measure, man's Great. It does say greatest treasure. So that's just beautiful. And it's got a gem there and a gem there. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so are they doing... So if it's 7.2, are they doing um, the different horcruxes that are in 7.2? Okay. So we got this box. Oh, I like this box. Ta-da! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, I've been wanting one of these. This one looks really nice though. They do a really good job with pieces like this. So it looks like, um, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. So it looks like the uh, vials that they use to, for the Pensieve. Um, and it says always in it. Um, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. And it's like crystal and it's, um, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I like pieces like that. That's why I love this particular company. Um, oh, that's just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Fun tube, right? And this looks like the scene where after Harry dies and he meets Dumbledore in the train station. Um, and it says, Harry, it's like dialogue, Harry. So it's true, isn't it, sir? A part of him lives inside me. Dumbledore did. It was just destroyed many moments ago by none other than Lord Voldemort himself. You were the Horcrux he never meant to make, Harry. Harry, I have to go back, haven't I? Dumbledore, oh, that's up to you, Harry. I have a choice. Dumbledore, oh, yes. We're in King's Cross, you say? I think if you so desired, you'd be able to board a train. Harry, and where would it take me? Dumbledore, on. So it's... A